What's up you guys and welcome back to another reddit reading video. So this style that we've been doing these videos in have been mostly inspired by a fresh, really popular reddit youtuber. He really inspired me, him and like r slash and stuff like that, really inspired me to make these kind of videos and that background that I have right now is from r slash, like it's not his background obviously this is his, this is mine, but I just really liked it. But I just made this. This is like something I was just like tinkering around with the other day just to see what it would turn out like. Tell me, do you guys like this? This little turning around in the moon and all that, that space? Or do you like this with the orange stuff? So let's do it with this. And also, I'm sorry, but all this talk before the video. Do you like the words to be blocky like this? Or do you like them to be see-through like this? Okay, now that we have all these polls out of the way, let's get into this r slash entitled parent story. Entitled parent tries to take my dog to the dog park. The cast, EM, entitled mother, EK, entitled kid, HM, handsome man, <laughs> me. So this all happened like three months ago. My dog is a golden retriever, so she loves people and exploring. So anyways, my dog doesn't get out a lot, so when she does, she goes wild. I finally got to the dog park, and when I arrived, I walked in and let her off the leash. The second I did, she bolted away. The park has a two fin system, so dogs can't just run straight out. So anyways, after like 15 minutes of watching her run around with the other dogs, up comes EM with EK. I'm sitting at the table watching the dogs play with a couple other pet owners when EM walked up to my dog and puts a leash on her. In my head, I was saying to myself, please no, please no, please no. I tried to stay positive, but thinking that my dog was irritating hers, but I quickly found out that that wasn't the case. As EM starts walking to the fence with EK, I block her path. She replies with, uh, can I help you? I'm trying to leave with my dog. Outraged that I was being downright lied to, I try to take the leash off my dog's collar. The woman replies, Excuse me? I'm trying to leave with my dog and you're stealing him. For your information, my dog is a female and she's mine, is how I reply. The crazy woman starts shouting and screaming that I'm stealing her dog from her and for someone to call the police. But the people that I was sitting with knew that she was mine because we spent 15 minutes talking. They walk over and suggest that we call the police and try and clear this up. So after my newfound friend's call, the police arrive within 5 minutes. Excuse me, can we clear something up here? Yes, yeah, so I? I didn't get the fence before EM cut me off. I was at the dog park and this crazy person tried to take my dog. The others helped me out by arguing that she knows she's mine. Then I suggest a bright idea that we can check the tag on her collar and call the phone number. The policeman agrees and leans down to my dog, he calls the number on his phone, and look at that, my phone rings, I answer the call from the policeman. The lady was asked to leave the park because she didn't own a dog and was there for no reason. She tries to fight but ends up leaving. Long story short, I don't go to the dog park and the woman tries to take my dog. We call the police and the dog is proven to be mine. My goodness, I can't imagine if someone tried to steal my dog, like, I don't even know if I'd be able to control myself, I love my dogs too much, they're like my kids, <laughs> like, they're just sitting here looking at me right now, I'm like, if I saw someone walking off with them, I'd just attack them, I'd go into crazy mode, someone said you should have pressed charges, I know, I would have taken that to, like, the full extent, like, you try to steal, like, dogs are seen as property in the law, though, so you have to do, like, stolen property, which is kind of sad, they're not seen as, like, living things, like, if someone kills your dog, it's, like, they're damaged property, which is, like, that's sad. I didn't know that one was so short. Let's read like one more little entitled parents. <laughs> entitled mother's OMG wedding speech. Short and maybe not so sweet. A couple years ago, an old friend from high school invited me to her wedding. During the toast, her new mother-in-law got up with the intention to give a speech. Now these usually go something like, welcome to the family, or I'm glad my son found love, etc. I'm not even going to try to recreate what she said, but she started out by saying the bride was incredibly lucky to be marrying her son. And then she went on a 15 minute long ramble on why her son was such an amazing, perfect person. Spoiler alert, it's because she raised him and because he respects his parents. She then proceeds to remind the bride in front of everyone that respecting your parents is the most important thing in a marriage. What? She also told her that now it's her job to take care of her son, just like she had taken care of him. Anyway, all the bride side of the party just sat there stunned. Meanwhile, the mother-in-law sister was crying because it was such a beautiful speech. Wow, that that is entitlement. That is one entitled mother. Now, I got married pretty young, and actually I still am young, I haven't been married that long. But what my mom told me was the most important thing was that we were in it together. Like, what she told me is, no one comes above your spouse to my wife. And to me, she said, no one comes above your spouse until, like, we have kids, if we ever want to have kids. Which I don't know if I want to, I don't know if... I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, what she was saying pretty much is, it's us against everything. So like, you pick your spouse over a problem, you pick your spouse over your parents, you pick your spouse over anything. That was her, like, how she said that was the most important thing. That's what my mom told me. But anyways, that is going to be all the stories for today, but I am going to ramble just a little bit longer. I want you guys to be 
brutally honest. Like, do you not like this little moon thing? The, the way I'm talking right now, I haven't even edited this together yet. So hopefully this turns out better than I expect. <laughs> if it doesn't, we can always go back to the old way. Either way, I'm probably not going to be changing my sprite on the channel, like the Reddit reading logo channel with the R's as my eyes. I probably won't be changing that to like a moon or anything like that. I just thought maybe we could spice this up and see how it goes. If it doesn't go good, we can always go back. If you guys have any suggestions for subs that you want me to cover or like any topics or anything like that, just let me know down below in the comments. I take, I take almost every suggestion that I get, honestly, since we're still pretty small. Also, thank you guys for watching the entire video. Those That helps me out so much. I'm recently monetized, like really, really recently monetized. We have made, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but $30. Wow, well, big, big, big money, big money, boy. That's how we do. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to start like maybe a Patreon or something and like, put people's names in the videos and like release my videos early on Patreon or something like that. Something to keep this channel like above the water and like being able to float by itself so it's not just like me reading and getting one cent a video which is a lot of my videos are made one to two cents. <laughs> Sad to say but I, I want to be honest with you guys that's that's what it is. My, like the three videos I have are the only reason that it's double digit dollars to take the truth. If you have any suggestion or any advice if you know anything about YouTube know anything about like things that I should be doing or if you have any or if you have like any suggestions on how I can improve I know that I do like lisp some of my words up. I know I don't pronounce everything just right. Like my lips sometimes, this is getting kind of weird. I know I am said I'm going to ramble. I am rambling. My lips don't like close all the way all the time. And also like the lisp is because all that's because of my braces right now. So hopefully when I get my braces off and I'm able to like have a retainer and just take it out, I'll be able to talk a lot better. I know 50% of the comments are pretty much people just cussing me out about how bad my reading voice is or like how bad my voice sounds. I can't really affect how my voice sounds, but I will try and read more clearly and I have been working on reading slowly. I do have a habit of talking really fast. So now I'm trying to like read slowly. Anyways, that is it for the rambles right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like, follow my Instagram account. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye, my lovelies. <laughs>